Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flex. The other day when I was taping, I told you I was going to be doing the um, Ninja Turtles. And didn't get around to it until today. So I am going to, I've almost got him done and I'm just going to show you the finished finishing touches, um, how I detail it out. And anyway, the image that I'm working from is the four of the Ninja Turtles together here. And I'm going to make this in one solid centerpiece. The very first thing that I did was I drew out the outline for the black of the group. Um, <clears throat> again, I'm using the Sure Cuts a Lot software with my um, expression, my Cricut Expression Machine. One of the older machines that doesn't have the newer firmware, so you can, it's still compatible to use with the Sure Cuts a Lot software, also known as Scales. Um, there are other machines out there that will work with the Scales. However, I don't own one of those machines, like a Silhouette. Um, can't remember the other names of them. A cameo silhouette. I guess it's called a cameo silhouette. Um, mine works just fine with what I have, so no need for another machine. But after I do this, I draw this out and then I scan it because I'm going to upload this into my Sure Cuts a Lot to build my SVG. I do it completely different than the way that they show on YouTube videos because the way that it's demonstrating using Ink Inkscape coupled along with your sure cuts a lot to me is just way too way too complicated and this works for me just fine after I get the base color then I go back and I scan that so I have the base of the black then I go through and I draw this out again however what I want to do is put my contour my detail line so that when I cut it my background is black, and then the next layer, which is going to be green, and I'm going to show you my template because I make them, then I cut them out and save them so that when I make them in the future, I know how to layer everything. So this just has a bunch of lines in it so that when I cut it out and I lay it over my black, you can see all the cut lines. Again, this doesn't look really neat and sweet because it's only my template. Um, I, any fine tuning, this is not a final piece. It's just something I use for a point of reference when I make them in the future. But you can see a lot of the black lines. When I do this and finalize it, I'm going to take some of those lines out and I'm going to show you what I did instead because I think it's it's easier and, and it can be pretty um, slick. I don't know what I want to call it. Um, very precise and I can put the lines where I want but I'm going to do them with a marker yeah um, some of them on the mark with a marker and then after I do that second layer then I go back and I draw out the the separate little pieces that I'm going to cut in the various colors for instance here you've got their face these are their shells um, this is the lid off of the sewer and all of these are the bands that are around their knees and around their elbows and then their eyes. Because these are the pieces that I'm going to color, cut in other colors. If you look at this, this is going to be all green. Then these pieces are going to be the colors for me to create the layers. Then the last thing I do is fine tune it a little bit. Here's their bandanas or their scarves that go around their, their heads with their eyes. This is the top of the sewer. Um, this is some of the detail on the sewer. I, I do this in steps. Um, the reason being is if I try and break it apart all in one, it can be very, it, it's difficult. And then you get frustrated and, and I throw it away and don't do anything with it. So that's why I do it in pieces. Then after I get a pretty good rough idea of how I'm going to do it, I've got my base color, then I have my first layer, which is all the green. Then I went out and cut my layer pieces. I did them all in one color because this is all scratch paper. And all I want to do is kind of lay them out here so I know where they go. 
again this is a point of reference so that when I make the pieces I know and you can't see real good or you may be able to but some of these are layered on top of one uh, one another but I just again I want to know when I go to make my final piece where all the colors go and here is my final piece um, now I'm going to show you a couple things that I did. I didn't finish it up completely. I'm hoping that I'm far enough back so you can see that and that the light's not glaring on it, which it looks like it may be. I'm trying to, to view it. Let me shut this off and see if you can see it a little bit better. No, that's really dark. Sorry about that. But anyway, what I'm going to do is show you how I finish this off. And again, he will go on the... the um, the wood base. This is for a birthday party. Somebody who's wanting Ninja Turtles for their boy, for her boys. Um, so there you go. That might give you a little bit better idea. So now what I'm going to show you, I did. I got the other side ready to finish up. First thing I did is on the faces because they're green on green, what I took is this color box ink. And what I'm gonna do is just scrape it along the edges of the faces. The reason being is because you're, since I'm gonna have green on green, I want them to stand out. So I'm just gonna take this black and shaded a little bit going all the way around and again when I lay them down then they they stick out you can see the faces better so that's one thing that I'm doing and I think I only did it on the faces sometimes I do it on more pieces but in this particular case I'm only going to do it on the faces and let me see here I'm going to go ahead and glue those down and then show you something else real quick. I don't want to... Boy, I love this glue, but I'll tell you what. It is a challenge to keep it from drying up between... You know, if you, if you don't use it for five minutes, the next time I go to use it, the tip's all dried up. Drives me nuts, but... Oh, well... And we put down the next face and set him right in there. And these can also be popped up with pop dots. Um, I thought about doing that, but decided I didn't want to because I need to color in the mouths. And if I would have popped out of them, it would have made it a little bit challenging and I didn't feel like it. So let me put the purple scarf down. You can see on some of these these eye bands um, some holes cut out but again when I'm doing my first shot it's always a see there we go I can change that with this glue. Um, the reason that I decided against cutting the eyes out is um, it was hard to, to get them perfect in size and they're really tiny when you're working on the scales sometimes when the the little accent pieces are really little they they're kind of challenging to work with I'm going to show you what I do with the eyes instead um, Again, these are little shortcuts that I've learned that make it a lot easier and a lot less stressful when you're trying to put something together. And then, whoops, they want a runaway eyeball. What I did with some of these details in the lines on the other side, I drew in my accent lines using a fine tip. Um, these pens I actually get at Michael's and they're a zig and I really like them because the one end is a really tiny fine tip and the other end is the thicker. 
So I drew in a lot of these lines. Um, and now what I'm going to do is take the fine end of the pen and trace out the mouth. Then I'm going to take the wide end and I'm going to fill it in. Again, you could do them where you um, have a back, a black background, um, and cut these out where you have black paper behind it. Uh, this, to me, was, when I was making the template, since I I don't know how much I'll use it, I didn't want to keep redoing it. And I, you have to, if you're going to cut these out so the black shows. I would have had to line them up so they cut out of the base of the green. Then I would have had to line them up with the faces, and and again, it just gets to be uh, more work than I want to do, particularly if it's not something. Now, what a lot of times what happens when I design something like this, if it turns out it's something people want, and I have to make a lot of them, I go back and fine tune my templates. Um, and spend more time trying to perfect them so that it makes it easier. Like, for instance, Jake and Izzy, the very first ones I did were kind of, eh, they were okay, but they weren't my best work. But after they were such a hit, I decided I needed to go back. And you know what I did? I can't believe I just did that. I forgot to put the sewer lid down before I glued him down. Let me see how bad my glue has dried and I'm safe. But I'm not real sure. I'm going to have to recolor his mouth. There we go. That's another thing that's kind of nice about this glue. I can't believe I did that, but yes, I can. I shouldn't say I can't believe that. I don't think I would uh, have completed a video without having made some mistake, but you know, they're pretty easy to fix things. Unless, of course, you use the the um, S, or the ATG glue. Once that's down, it's down for good. Anyway, I'm going to redo this and lay this down here. Then I'm going to redo this face. I don't think there was any damage done. Um, I might have to recut this. If this gets lumpy looking, I'll recut this little piece of face. Not a big deal. Not that difficult to do since I still have that template open, but for right now, I'll put it down just so I can show you what I'm going to do to finish this up. Yeah, I think that I'm going to have to redo that face. I see him curling up on me. I have to put a weight on him or something, see if I can get him to stay down. Now, after I put all this on, what I did is I went back to where these slices are cut. Again, when I originally did these lines in here, um, like on the sewer lid, it was with the intention of having a black background, the black base behind it, so the black would show through and I didn't cut out these marks when I did the green layer. Again, if this is something that people want, then I will go back and do that. Right now I'm not. Well, that came out fine. And then what I do is I go in and I color in the, his pupils. And they were all kind of, or the black, I don't, I, well, yeah, I guess these are the pupils. And I face them in the different directions. They're all kind of looking to the center. And when that dries real good, I will go back with the white gel pen and put little white accent dots in each one of the, the eyeballs. I got a few more things on here that I need to do, but for right now, I think that that gives you a good idea. And for those of that you were looking, there is the Ninja Turtle. Here, maybe what I'll do is scoop him up like this again. And there we go. All done. I think it came out really cute, but I look forward to your comments. Have a great night. Bye-bye.